Shanghai on Sun Valley. This is Marie Gallo and welcome to Marie's Kitchen. So today we are going to cook a dish mainly with potatoes, actually just with potatoes and cream. So we are going to cook what we call in France gratin dauphinois and here in the US we call that scallop potatoes. As you know, I'm from Belgium and Belgium is just like here in Idaho, a potato country, I would say, not only for the fries, but everything else who goes with it. There is not one meal in Belgium without potatoes. And I have to say, I'm addicted to potatoes. So this one is a great recipe with the holidays uh, coming and, um, and Thanksgiving and the cold. Uh, you know, winter is coming in Sun Valley, Idaho. Uh, that will be great to, um, to, to cook the potatoes, the scalloped potatoes. Anyway, what we're going to need today for, it's a very easy recipe to make. Anybody can make uh, this recipe. So I have right here, three beautiful Idaho potato. This is so funny. I went to get them yesterday and <laughs> That is really funny. So I asked the guy at the vegetable area, I said, are those from Idaho? And he laughed and he looked at me like, uh, yes, ma'am. I said, okay. So I went to get those uh, russet potato. What am I looking in a potato? It seems, I mean, basic, but you want a good, I, I use the russet potato for this recipe, but you use firm. Remember uh, the two cooking show we had previously, I always like fresh ingredient and firm. And this is what I'm looking for. A nice, firm Idaho potato. So I'm going to use a mandolin. You can use only a knife if you are afraid of this little gadget because it's scary. I had an incident about four years ago. I can tell you, you have to be very careful. This mandolin is really, really, really sharp. So we are gonna um, slice the potato. I think I have this one on one 316 in the yellow area. So what I do, I cut the end of the potato. So I have a very flat, so I do that. And as you know, I have my chef knife and my little knife that I love to, to cook with. So, and I have a very flat, I'm going to show you a very flat that's going to be easier to use on the mandolin. And there we go. I have this little protection. So I start without this protection and we are going to start sliding the potatoes. So please be careful if you use the mandolin because it's really, really, really sharp. So at one point, I am going to use my little gizmo here. There it is coming up. So, and now I'm not afraid, you know, I'm just going because my fingers are really well protected. So if this one doesn't cut, it's fine. I have enough potatoes. So I'm going to put those on the side and I'm going to do the same with those two potatoes. In the meantime, what we are going to do is in a pan, I put two cup of heavy whipping cream. You don't have to use two cup of a heavy whipping cream if you don't want to. If you think ah, it's a little bit too rich for me or for my family, you can use one cup of 2% milk and one cup of heavy cream. That will do it as well. So what I'm gonna do, and this is my way to make the gratin dauphinois, the scalloped potatoes, two cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of salt and pepper, and the pepper is already here uh, in my salt. I have one clove of garlic, and this is garlic from my garden. Yay, I like when I use stuff from my garden. And I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do a quarter of a spoon of nutmeg. You need nutmeg in this recipe. You cannot go without nutmeg. Now, if you don't like nutmeg, just put half of a quarter of a teaspoon, that will be fine. I love nutmeg. 
So I'm gonna put a quarter of a spoon. And I like to, to crack a little bit of black pepper. Just, you know, one. And we are gonna boil this. So you put on high, keep an eye because as soon as it boil, it can um, overflow. There you go, see it's starting to, to boil or I mean to, to heat up. So I'm, I'm on high, I'm medium high. And I'm gonna stir everything. And this is the, the only thing you have to do for the scalloped potato. You boil your cream, I put all the ingredient on it, and then we are gonna use it to cover the, 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 the sliced potatoes. So you're taking your parix and you're going to spread your butter, not much, just enough to have it all around. And what I do also, this, I peeled a garlic cloves. This is garlic from my garden. And you just do the same thing with the garlic, just to have the taste of the garlic in your parix. Remember, we do have garlic in the cream sauce. That's all it is to it. So what I'm going to start to do, well, I'm going to scoop. I am going to pour a little bit, not much, but a little bit of my cream. Okay, so we scoop a little bit of cream with the mix in the parix. So now we are going to just put the slice of potatoes and create a first layer of potatoes. Okay, easy enough. Now, if you want to, sh to put the, the potato uh, in a different shape, different ways, please be my guest because the result's gonna be the same. The, th the thing, the secret in the scallop potatoes, it's your cream and your mix. And you can touch and put pulled down. So this is my first layer. So I have a full layer of potatoes and we are going to put another layer of cream with the mixture. There it goes. And then, and don't worry, you know, I cut my, my uh, potato a little bit earlier. They start the oxidation, nothing. It, it won't change the quality of your potatoes. So don't worry about it cover that area and voila so on top one more layer and it seems like a lot of cream but i do a little bit of cream at a time it's not and remember try to steer because all the mixed we have like the pepper the garlic the mus the nutmeg i was starting to speak french noix muscat for nutmeg but it's right there so you, you really want to have the whole mixture on your, um, on your dish. This is the scallop. This is it. And then you're going to be 45 minutes to an hour, it depends, in the oven, preheat, 400 degrees. And then I did cook one this morning, so I'm going to show you uh, what it's supposed to look when you take it out from the oven. Okay, now we, I had um, my scallop for 45 minutes in the oven. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take it out, protect your hands. Don't forget that. And take it out. Yum. This should look kind of brownish color and ready to serve. Uh-huh, moment of truth. I am going to have a taste of this. So in this, this one, I, I made it for, uh, because this one I cooked uh, earlier to make sure that we, you don't have to wait for 45 minutes. So this, this one is for three people to four because, you know, it's rich. As you know, we use cream and you plate it. I'm not going to take too much because it's really rich. And I'm going to taste it. <laughs> Gosh, I love potatoes. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I always say the same thing, but it is so good. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier, 
the reason, uh, you know, when I was sliding the potatoes on the mandolin, you don't wash the potatoes when you slice them. You watch them when you peel, of course, but when you slice them, you keep them like that. You don't do anything. You just take the slice and you put it in your plate because the starch will do the creamy um, mixed when you cook it. So this is your scalloped potatoes ready to be served. You can use it for Thanksgiving, Christmas. It goes very well with all kind of, uh, all, all kind of uh, meat fish as well one of my favorite one of a classic in france and i will say see you next time on ion sun valley in the meantime enjoy your cooking and see you later au revoir